Several decades ago, there used to be a lot of small grain in this part of the, the state and in this county. And then as time went along, wheat wasn't as profitable and this became more of a corn and soybean area. I think it kind of continues with the theme that the Corn Belt moved west. So we can produce some great corn and soybean around here, but then you don't have the diversity in your crop rotation that I think uh, we're seeing the benefits of now. And so we've been trying to bring back as much wheat as possible on uh, the, the fields that require that mo more diversity in our operation. And so instead of just corn and beans, we've got some spring wheat, corn and bean rotation. Uh, we grow some oats and occasionally some barley. You know, it just depends on what our feed needs are for our livestock as well. And so by using the small grain, we're able to really shine with our cover crop behind that rotation and because it can grow for two plus months in the fall after spring wheat harvest and okay. so it's uh, another avenue to uh, add some diversity in our soil for our crops and it, now that we've also incorporated our livestock back into uh, certain fields that are near the farm during the winter season it's a little bit more diversity there as well. The economics of farming have to work and that's where you know you still have to be able to pencil a profit or yeah. you, you hope to pencil a profit when you're putting in your grain and so wheat is borderline but we've found that we can produce the yields for our wheat that can make it profitable and then by following with a cover crop our corn and our soybeans are more profitable the next year. So you can't tie just that one year's profitability to spring wheat. I mean you've got to take that extra gain you get from corn and beans and attribute that back to your small grain. Having that small grain in your rotation, you have a lot better weed suppression too. So we're finding that we necessarily don't have the weed problems that maybe some neighbors have because that residue from the weed or the small grains creates a nice cover on the soil so your weed seeds aren't even getting in there to germinate and come up and growing. A lot of buzz in the industry now is the the weeds that you're not killing with herbicides. On our farm, we really don't have a lot of problems with that, and I think that can be attributed to using the small grains in the rotation and keeping it diverse. And because of that diversity in your crop rotation, you also have a diversity in your herbicides that you can choose from. Right. You know, right. whether it's your pre's or your posts, you know, and so you've got multiple layers there to, uh, for weed suppression, and so it all works together. Just the beauty of having that diversity across the farm, of having something besides corn and soybeans, and, and then learning and seeing what those things do to the soil and how that can help the next crop just intrigued me, and I'm just like, let's just keep doing this as, as much as we can to keep that diversity in the rotation. I don't know, I'm a long-term thinker, and I, I just want to give this farm to whoever comes next in the best possible condition for them to be successful.